maybe because since Sarah Herder came here, the foundation has also changed a lot. I think it became much more outgoing. And what did she do? Sarah is it? such an exciting visionary leader. She came here in 2006 from Storefront for Art and Architecture. And um, she was the first female director and um, certainly the, the youngest director. And she has done so much to open up the institution. As you said, the first thing that she did was, was rip all of the area rugs out of the front. The front galleries used to be the offices and oh, right. of the director and the program officer. And the first thing she did was to open those spaces up, make them galleries so that the Graham Foundation could be a place for the public, not only as an important institution within architecture, we're a well-known funder and have been for many years, um, but uh, she had made the, the decision to open up the exhibitions to a much broader audience and do a lot more advertising, really welcoming people here. Of course, the Graham Foundation has always done exhibitions and very notable ones too, um, since the beginning of the foundation. So we're always looking for new projects, both within our grantees and, and within the field, um, to help bring them about in, in terms of either an exhibition or public programs, and that could take the form not only of lectures, but of performances, installations, and so on. The base of the foundation is architectural, but the scope seems much wider. Design, fine arts, what's the common thread here? or? How do they relate to each other? Um. Well, we do take a pretty broad understanding of what architecture is, and a lot of the thinking behind that lies in the idea that it's not only architecture that can inspire architects. There's a whole world of ideas in the built environment that can inspire architecture, and that exists in many different mediums. It's certainly a massive undertaking and one that's been so exciting for the city and for the Graham Foundation. Our, our contribution as the Graham Foundation has been to lend support, uh, both in terms of Sarah's incredible contributions, all of her resources and knowledge, and, um, and the foundation itself. Being in the field for so long, we have um, so many contacts and um, such a firm grounding in the field that it was wonderful to help get the bunny and meal going and to, to be a presenting sponsor of the of the inaugural exhibition. Yeah. 2016 will be a very special year for the foundation. Yes, you, yeah? absolutely. Um, so 2016 will be Sarah's 10-year anniversary at the Graham Foundation, so we'll be able to, to look back on those accomplishments, and it'll also be the 60th anniversary of the Graham Foundation. Um, so we will, we're planning a, a very exciting program um, to look back, to look into our archive, and um, to really reflect on, on that incredible history, and to, to think about going forward what our next steps will be. Mm -hmm.